angels, happy Thursday, welcome back, hope that you're all good, that you've all had a good week and yada yada yada. Again, I just want to thank you all ever so much for your thoughts and uh, energy that you're sending to my gran. She's really, really sick. Uh, they don't feel that she's got much longer left for this world. So we're kind of all a little bit on tender hooks, waiting to see what happens. Um, but I just want to thank you all ever so much for the love, the healing, the energies that you're sending me and my family. It's not going unnoticed. Um, it's just kind of, you know, well, she's 90, 92. You know, she's a cracking age. My granddad, when he died, he was, uh, he was 93 so um but she's uh, she's not well she's not well so just want to thank you all she got out of hospital got back into hospital and it's all got a little bit tits off let's say so what we're doing today is what's going to happen next with you and your person so it's going to be the mutual energy between you between you both deck number one deck number two we're using the 78 decks one's a carnival deck and one's a, called a mystical deck i'm going to leave it with you to decide uh, i really want you to push your energies of you and your person into the deck so if you feel your person's energy just think think about them and you'll start feeling them and when you get that feeling you just feel as if you're kind of pushing your energy towards the deck number one and number two i want to really get the clarity of your strongest mutual energy between you all number one number two okay so as you guys know it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all uh, so what will happen is we're going to go into all you guys energies all your people's energies and we'll pull up the strongest mutual energy between you all so regardless of your situations and what's going on and that's why it's a bit of a pain to watch the shuffling but if you want to, to read your energies your energy will be in that deck number one's energy okay think about your person can we get into their thought people's thoughts feelings overall energy emotions thought processes okay and can we pull out the strongest mutual energy of both the people watching and their beloveds um, on all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes two more and we're going one two Okay, here we go. Can you tell me what is going to happen? Wow. Wow. What is going to happen between the people watching and their people? This deck is really big. I mean, especially when you've got tiny hands, you have like these massive decks. How many do you want? So the first thing that's kind of coming into my energy um, that Spirit are telling me is I've got a song and we've got, uh, I'm calling you at 3am by Busted. Um, I don't know if you've, anyone's heard that song for a long, long time. But what it is, it's like, it talks about how, um, I'm going to read that, read reversals. Um, it talks about how... Um, they really don't give a care, they don't care about you, they're like, no, I don't care about you. And then they suddenly, like, they wake up and they're like, oh my god, I really miss you. I'm calling you at 3am, I'm waiting at, right outside your door. Um, so that's coming through really strongly with you guys um, and your people's energy. I'm going to get nine. You guys are saying nine. One. One more. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so... Yeah, so the first thing is that song that at the moment your people are kind of sticking in this sticky energy that they're not really making any moves towards you. You might be being ghosted, your situations might be at this bit of a standstill and your person has kind of been going through this period of deception on themselves. Um, I'm not even reading the cards, I'm just telling you what Spirit's saying. <laughs> um, they, they've been going through this period of deception, kind of trying to preserve themselves and think, no, you know what? I don't need you lot watching, I don't need you, I'm perfectly fine without you, my life was okay before you came into it, so I don't need you, I'm going to pretend that uh, it's all over, I don't need you, basically. And this is where this kind of period of rest is coming in, that they're really kind of trying to self-preserve, look after themselves, um, this is not going to last, this isn't going to last more than probably a couple of weeks for the majority of you. Um, they've kind of cut off their nose to spite their face. They've handled the situation um, in not the best manner, not the best way, um, and they haven't realized their consequences of their actions just yet. But in the next couple of weeks, as we said, here comes the tower. So this tower is gonna mightily, mightily hit them. Thunderbolt, out the blue, um, shit. I need to do something about this situation. I can't lose them. And again, that's why that song 
calling you at 3 a.m. is coming forward. Um, they've been on self-protect, they've been a little bit standoffish with you, they've been a bit, I don't need you, I don't need your shit, yada, yada, yada. Um, but this thunderbolt out the blue, coming down, bang, gonna really erupt them. And then this kind of conflicting energy that they've been having around you, they're really gonna start seeing perspective to it. They're gonna start realizing that they do have these very strong emotions for you, that they do need to do something about it. They're gonna stop juggling um, their head and their heart and they're gonna start acting on this heart-based energy. There is also a really strong sexual energy between you both and your person is likely to come through um, some of you guys, they will either come through with a heart-based energy or with a sexual energy. And there is that kind of balancing here, balancing act between the two. So you'll be coming up in this kind of Queen of Wands energy. Um, they're kind of coming up in this King of Cups energy. And in between the two of them is this, this Six of Pentacles. So they're balancing their energies um, between sexual or heart-based. And that's going to split between all of you watching what energy they come forward on. Um, trying to keep balanced not doing the best job on it. Um, and again, if they aren't very good about talking about emotions, they're likely to come through with a more sexual energy towards you. Um, could potentially still be a little bit hot and cold as well with some of you guys watching. They're not gonna be suddenly having a personality transplant and giving you everything you want, but they are gonna be having this wake up call. They're realizing what life is gonna be like without you and thinking, oh my God, can I actually cope without, without my high priestess? Is this going to work? Am I going to feel okay about this? How is it going to happen? Um, they feel that you have really let them into your heart and they've really not handled it well. And, and some guys, some of your people have kind of betrayed you. And I don't necessarily mean in like a cheating way, but they've let you down because they've lied to themselves about the situation and gone, oh, you know what? I don't need you. We're never going to be together. It's never going to work or anything along those lines. Or they've gone and got engaged or they've um, just kind of ghosted you and thought, no, you know what, I'll just leave you behind. Whatever your individual circumstances are, they've done that on that self-protect, which isn't great for you lot. And that's why they're a little bit scared on how to make these moves back towards you. And at the moment, they're still in this really stubborn energy, but it's not gonna last. The, the scales are gonna be tipping back into your favor, coming towards you, balancing this group of you is split between sexual energy and heart-based energy, what they choose to act on, um, and realizing that they can't actually cope without you. Now, some people, some of you guys watching, it's not just going to be a tower with regard to you. And you know, the tower card is like whenever it's like probably some people think it's the worst card in tarot. I always think it's a really good card in some respects because it means that there's movement. It means there's that action. And it also means that, you know, the universe has took it into its hands that situations have got to change because you lot haven't been handling it well. So this tower's hitting the, your people is actually going to be a benefit to you guys watching um, because they, they will realise what they've done, realise what they've lost or losing and step up the game and from that you have the lovers and that's quite a creepy lovers card <laughs> quite a creepy lovers card but if you go in so past like the creepy lovers card that you're um they're holding the apple of temptation so even if you guys haven't spoke for a long time you are still this temptation to them and they are still trying to move themselves forward and leave the past behind they will be leaving the past behind coming to make offers with you and in this card as well if you get past the creepiness of it so this is the carnival deck. If you get past the creepiness of it, you have this lady here with your apple. You have the male here, never sexually orientated, gender specific, but she's actually in a bridal uniform and there is a heart going around the outside. Now, if you guys are third parties and your person is with someone else, the third party is kind of up here. So it's going to be a little bit irrelevant to you and your person. Um, what your your person comes to offer you if you are third party is going to be kind of down to your individual circumstances so if you wanted to look that look at that in personal readings we can um but they will come towards you with these offers these either love-based offers or sexual-based offers um, and it's going to be down to you guys if this is what you want they're also a little bit envious of you spirit are telling me to tell you because you guys haven't massively you have got commitments but you haven't kind of got the same commitments that your person has got so your person is really feeling that they've 
messed up their life like they're very bored they're very fed up um you were probably the most interesting exciting best part of their life and then they've messed that up as well and a lot of them are kind of reassessing their lives and thinking you know what i'm nothing but an f up um, and this is where these kind of dark nights of the soul are coming forward because um they're thinking well if I can mess up like the one good thing in my life what's that saying about me and my future and where my life is going um, and it kind of creates this conflicting energy but again your people will be coming out of that conflicting energy as this thunderbolt hits um, and making moves towards you so let me just recap on it okay so at the moment you've kind of got this period of rest then you have the thunderbolt hitting this wake up call this oh my god i've got to do something about the situation with the reds involved in this card as well spirit are telling me to tell you that it's kind of root chakra based so a lot of it is going to be to do with stability and finance or um feeling that they've been a little bit unstable with the situation and this thunderbolt will hit them to realize that they've got to kind of sort themselves out get that more stability and come towards you with that offer then this conflicting energy of them trying to juggle their head and their heart is going to come to a close through that you have this movement towards you uh, some of you guys it will be sexual some of you guys it will be emotional balancing kind of between the two some of you guys it will be completely both there's a link in this with third parties as well so if you guys are third party your people will still come towards you with some kind of offer it's going to be down to you on what it is that you want to take from that they're going to always be seeing you as um gone past their parties now if they're always going to be seeing you as this level of temptation that they do would love to have some kind of future with you um and there is going to be these kind of offers stepping in about oh what can we do where can we go they're not going to put all their eggs in one basket straight away and say come on let's marry each other and be together and have babies and live happily ever after it's not going to be as quick as that because they've still kind of got this self preservation pres preservation preservation mode going on but the the mask is slipping and through the mask slipping they they'll realize that they can't live without you and they'll come towards you a little bit of jealousy a little bit of envy about how you can move forward with your life um even on a spiritual kind of basis because you guys see the world in a slightly different way your people have an envy and a jealousy towards that as well um because they they don't really understand how through all the shit that you lot have been through you're still managing to live your life with that essence of freedom you know you still you have jobs you have you know boyfriends girlfriends or whatever the family you have all these kind of commitments but actually you haven't got these massive massive commitments of oh i got married and i've got stuck or um yada 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 that's very generic okay that's not all of you um so that envy kind of comes through that you guys have still got this freedom in your life and that jealousy um of your people because they're like oh i made my bed i need to lie in it um, and once they start kind of getting themselves out of victim mode as well, when this thunderbolt hits, they will step out of that victim mode. And again, this movement is coming towards you. I feel like we just need to do three more. Can I just have three more for the overall outcome? Yeah. Each of these cards and these decks are drawn by different artists, which is, which is pretty cool. Yeah, three more is exactly what we need to do. Um, so your person and you, you've got the ability of foresight. And if you look on this, this is a tarot reader. So don't let your faith dwindle. Um, keep strong with it all. There is higher forces at work here. More, you know, the higher divine guidance is at force. Um, they have got a plan. And if you guys don't know about it, trust in the universe and if you really don't know what you're doing just say to the universe you know what you lead the way I'm gonna hold on I'll go where you take me but you have to have full trust in the universe foresight here and um, don't let your faith dwindle there is reasons and purposes for all of this kind of happening here again we have your offer coming forward will the offer be enough for you we're not entirely sure this is your guy coming forward or your woman coming forward saying hey look I've got a beautiful shiny pentacle for you do you want it? It's my little offer of stability mixed in with my sexual energy and my heart-based energy. And whether you guys want to take it or not, that's going to be down to you. Your person will still be in this stubborn emperor energy, still in the kind of strong masculine energy. Remember, never sexually orientated, gender specific, but with tarot where it's on mas masculine feminine energies. Um, so they're going to be in this strong masculine energy, still quite stubborn, but an offer 
will come forward towards you and it's going to be down to you guys watching what it is that you want to do about that situation. There is really good potential for the two of you to come together you will have to go at your person's speed for that to happen because they're not just going to suddenly wake up well they're going to have this wake up call about what they that they can't live without you um, that they want to do something about the situation but they're still not going to have a personality transplant so they might still be a little bit on and off with you a little bit backwards and forwards you know let them do the work don't go chasing them um, keep your keep your high high um, what's the word complete blank in my mind then high uh high as not your self-esteem value <laughs> so thank you high value keep your high value don't go chasing them um they'll come towards you with some kind of offer and it's going to be down to you on what you want don't lose faith in the process okay it's, it's never really going to be on your timings, it's always on the universe timings and it's that beautiful paradox of when we think that we've had enough with the situation, we're going to completely release it, that's when it comes and you'll know that from parts of your life when um, you wanted something really, really badly and then you never got it because you wanted it that bad and then as soon as you're like, right, you know, the opportunity's gone, that's when it comes to you and it is the same with your person. Okay, so um, some release work might help. We've got a new moon coming up. We would advise that on the new moon you do manifesting to bring in. On the full moon you do release work. So um, to surrender it to the universe, you'll be looking at the full moon energy in a couple of weeks' time. Um, a few weeks' time. You'll be looking at the full moon energy. If you want to manifest them into your life, do it this weekend, the new moon. Okay. Um, have a look on the internet. Or I could sit here and talk to you about manifesting for hours. I do manifesting plans, so if you want an individual one doing, let me know. But go and have a Google um, about the new moon and bringing in energies. Okay, that's deck number one. All right, let's do deck number two. Deck number two. Okay, my beauties. Here we go. So we're going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances and what's happening in your lives. It will go into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Deck number two's energy. Okay, can you think about your person for me? Can we get into the thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes of their people? It's always weird shuffling this way. And... Can we pull out the strongest mutual energy between those watching and their people about the possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, changes, pull out the collective energy. Okay, let's go. So, 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 what I've got coming through my right ear, my left ear is always uh, my guides or your guides, mainly my guides really, but if I'm doing one-to-one -one readings it's your guides too. Um, the right ear is the higher angelic presences, ascended masters, higher dimensional beings. So in my right ear, they've got pretty good taste in music still, still. you've got Ellie Goulding, uh, Love Me, Hate Me. Is it called Love Me, Hate Me? Hate Me, Hate Me, Now You Wanna Date Me, whatever it is. What's going to happen next with them and their people? So your people are... Oh, you've got the tower as well. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, with that song, your people are... Um, don't worry. Don't worry if you're thinking, oh, they've moved on, they've got over me. It's, it's not technically correct. So don't get your knickers in a twist over it. Let's get one more. Okay, right. So sometimes the oh, we have two hidden. We best have these as well. Let's put them up here. Okay, so with these cards, they are all designed by individual artists. So not one card is like the same artist. They're all different. So some of them can be a little bit creepy, but as a whole, they're pretty cool. So 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 this is where don't freak out this is where you guys are at this moment in time you are feeling haunted your pupil are feeling haunted you're feeling um some of you might even be having night terrors or nightmares over the situation um feeling in a bit of a dark place feeling quite sad now i am here to tell you that your people are also mirroring that energy and they are feeling the same now they're not feeling it quite to the same extent as 
you at the moment but as time kind of progresses between you both these nightmares are going to really pursue them and they're going to be feeling um quite unstable with regard to you and them that they've made a bit of a mess that they've made a bit of a mistake um, and it's really going to start haunting them about what they've done how they've reacted to certain situations what they've said and that's a little bit similar to deck one but deck two is way more intense than deck number one it's really going to be um affecting them now if you guys are having nightmares um one of my friends told me this um she's just opened up a youtube channel so you can go have a look at her she's uh marion k tarot she does uh, at the moment she's kind of doing a lot of decks and things like that so she's she's pretty cool go have a look at her but she advised when these kind of things happen sleep with the nine of swords in reverse under your pillow so shout out to her um if that's what's happening in your life it'd be really good okay good to kind of sleep with it underneath your pillow so from there, you have this kind of stagnant energy. Things aren't really working at this moment in time. You're all feeling a bit fed up. You're all feeling a little bit drained. Uh, you're all feeling a little bit stuck. You're all feeling a little bit stagnant. You're all thinking, come on, is something, let's see, that's cool. Is something gonna happen? What's really going on? What's happening? I don't know how to handle this situation. I'm feeling blinded. I'm trying to stand in my power, but oh my God, this is taking the piss. Would you guys just sort your shit? out and hurry up and this is why it's so strongly in your energy at night time now a lot of you um, are releasing stuff in your dreams as well spirit are telling me to tell you um, so if you are having more concerning dreams or fears at that at, at night time don't take them as um, dimensional dreams they will be fear-based dreams that your subconscious is releasing things at this moment because you have been in this stagnant sticky stuck energy and your person is too so that's your side of things with regard to your person they are still thinking about you they are seeing you in a very sexual dominant energy um they're feeling that they've wounded you that they've really hurt you and they didn't actually mean to do it in the way they have but there is a remorse kind of coming forward here as well that they're like oh my god I really have bodged things up now what's happening what will happen is at the moment they're kind of standing there with this tower in the background this is your energy and they're just holding it together by this thread and then bang so just like deck number one you guys are having this your people are going to have this thunderbolt of lightning as well so it's going to hit them this is a few months away rather than weeks away it's going to hit them out of the blue what have they done they've made some mistakes how do we clean this mess up now your people will kind of say to you um a lot of them there's still this kind of non-committal energy coming forward at the initial point of you two uh, reconnecting or communicating or wherever you are they are still going to be a bit stubborn in that energy um, and again if they're third party as well you've got a third party card if they're third party as well this energy is here as well and they'll be like well I can't give you any more than what I have um, we can just be friends with benefits or have meaningless sex or we can have sex and um, blah 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 just be careful with that if they do say that try not to get your heart too involved in it try and get away from that oxytocin flowing your little your love drug if that love drug starts flowing if you're intimate with them um, just be wary because it could mean that you make a few silly choices because you're not really responsible oxytocin um, is this it's the love hormone so when you're intimate with someone this oxytocin kind of flows through your body now it was great back in the day when we were cavemen cavewomen equivalent of that um because what happened is it's like the the oxytocin is your need for that stability and security from that one person and it can sometimes make us a little bit clingy a little bit needy um and things like that so it's just being aware that if you are intimate with them try not to get needy and clingy on them because that could reverse the effects of what is going to happen between the two of you um so just be a little bit careful of that um really good book for you guys that'll explain it better than what i ever could is fuck him nice girls always finish single by brian knox it'll be a really good book for you um sorry about my swearing but it's literally the book title so sexual energies uh third party energies realizing that this tower's kind of got to erupt they've been holding it together quite some time nothing's really been happening which has been haunting you it's all in the thought process there hasn't been physical movement there hasn't been much commitment this thunderbolt hits bang 
something's got to happen. And with that, we still have this, um, sorry, yeah, we're moving here. We have the reversals. We have reverse. I'm doing reversals today. We have the hanged man in reverse. We have the knight of wands in reverse. So, thunderbolt hits. Bang. No. Yeah. Thunderbolt hits. Bang. So, your knight of wands is your non-committal card. Your bit of a player, a bit of a, um, not really giving you what you want, non-commitment. This is going to go to the wind. Your hanged man energy, your stagnant, sticky energy, where it would normally be like this. Your bat. I always get confused when it's bats because they always fly like this anyway, but your bat is getting ready to fly. So what will happen when this thunderbolt hits is it's likely your person is going to drop this non-committal energy and make sweeping quick movement towards you. It's not going to be for a while. Like I said, you guys are looking at kind of a month period um, and you have this still this period of rest happening um, and with the three of cups in reverse you have your celebration kind of in the background but you're just not there yet so a little bit more patience is needed with deck number two a little bit more perseverance is potential here there is potential as your collective energy deck number two has got really good potential if you don't get pissed off in the waiting game for them we would always advise that you never uh, put your life on hold for anyone anyway so if you feel like you're just sitting there and waiting around thinking oh my god blah 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 what should I do keep them on the sideline you know they'll come back regardless uh, as your collective energy your people will come back regardless so keep moving yourself forward they'll catch up with you when when you're ready when they're ready they'll catch up with you don't worry about Oh, what if I move on and blah blah blah? Just do what is right for you. Don't don't ever feel that you have to pause your life for someone to catch up with you because that's going to bring you in a really low frequency. Keep pushing yourself forward, and um, even if you're not, I don't necessarily mean dating either. Like go to the gym. Uh, get a hobby, go out with your mates, anything like that so you're just not feeling like you're sitting on the sideline waiting. Keep them on the sideline for you lot, but you guys keep moving forward. Um, so things are going to kind of reverse in this. It looks like for the time being, for the next few months, it's going to be the same sticky, stagnant, crappy energy. Then there's going to be a big kind of flip of the situation it's going to do this 180 on you and they're going to come forward with this kind of oh uh, i've missed you i've been an idiot i'm totally sorry where can we go from here i'm sorry it just took me so long to get back to you i've just been kind of working out what it is that i want uh what i want and that's when that level of commitment is likely to come forward and as your whole deck as you as your collective energy there looks to be that commitment will come forward but it's not yet it's not on you lot's time scale it's on theirs which is a bit of a bugger really which is why again would say keep moving yourself forward and um, this reality check is massively gonna hit them they're gonna really really wake up and smell the coffee which is really good for you lot they're gonna, yeah, literally it's gonna be that. One day they'll, and, and this is, again, this love me, hate me kind of thing. At the moment, they're just gonna pretend that it was, you know, nothing, it didn't mean anything. Um, but, you know, she says in that, uh, what does she say? She says like, I bet you don't kiss her with your eyes closed and things like that. So even if they're moving on, don't stress about it. Then you're, they aren't. They aren't moving on. They want to pretend that they're moving on, but they're in this bl this this sticky energy. They haven't moved on, but they're just going to pretend that they have because it makes them feel better. And then that thunderbolt <laughs> reality check got to do something about it. So your perspective of your people, if you are willing to wait slash not wait, but keep moving forward, um, you've got good potential here with your person. You have got really good potential. They're going to unstick their stickiness and the potential for your celebration here is good as well. It's just a bit of a waiting game and with you guys hurting and things like that, try not to lose your faith on it all. Um, there are higher forces at work here, you know. Um, and don't let these, this horrible card, don't let these fears and nightmares get to you. Sleep with it, reverse. Please make sure it's reversed when you put it under your pillow. Make sure it's reversed because if it's the right way up, you're gonna be you don't want that you don't want that so if you are having the bad of dreams reversed under the pillow okay movement forward all right guys and that is deck number two so it, it's pretty it's okay it's just a bit of a waiting game which is not what you're going to want to hear but it is it's a, a waiting game but keep yourself moving forward you are the most important thing in your life you know 
you, you, you'll have kids, you'll have family, you'll have all of these, but you are the most important thing in your life because you are the person that has to go to sleep next to themselves every single night, you know? And you'll have that for the rest of your life. And you'll never be as old as you are now and you'll never be as young as you are now. So really embrace where you are. You know, the Dalai Lama said, if you focus on the past, you have depression. If you focus on the future, you have anxiety. Focus on the moment. And if you focus on the moment, you'll really start to embrace the little things and where you're going and what you want and what you're doing. And your person will catch up when they're ready. So don't ever feel that you can't move on or that you're stuck. You know, and if you're thinking, oh, should I walk away? Should I stay put? Um, you can do either. But if you, you know, if you stay put, focus on you so that you're still moving yourself forward. And again, they'll catch up. And if you walk away, they'll still catch up. So it's kind of irrelevant, really, what you choose to do. But just move yourself forward. Don't get yourself in a sticky, stagnant energy because you'll feel like you're wasting your life. Um, especially if you're wanting kids and you're wanting a family and things like that, you know, um, don't put your life on hold for them. They'll catch up when they're ready. Okay, there, rabbiting on, spirit rabbit, making me rabbit on. Okay, guys, so I'll put all the details in the uh, description for public readings. I also do mentoring. At the moment, there's a couple of spaces mentoring left for 2020. Uh, I do, manif well, we the spirit just told me after that, not just you. We do manifesting plans. We do mentoring. We do 15 minute readings, half hour readings, and we also do single questions for those of you that are a bit strapped for cash and you want all those of you that want a quick turnaround answer, the turnaround time on that's 24 to 48 hours. Um, we also do life purpose readings. We do past life readings. Um, the only things that I'm not legally allowed to talk about are finance, health including pregnancy and legal battles because uk law restricts me um so i'm not allowed to do those ones but anything else we're game we're all good all right guys have a really good week i'll speak to you all next thursday um, and and once again just to thank you all for everything that you're doing for me and me family and me gran honestly um your support has meant a massive massive uh deal to me um I wasn't expecting it in kind of leaps and bounds and I said, oh, she's poorly, just give me some time to get these readings back to you. Like, your support was just, it's, it's, it's beautiful. So uh, I want to thank you all ever so much. Uh, I'm sending you all loads of love, loads of blessings, and I'll speak to you next week. God bless. Bye.